Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and according to Han Solo and Carbonite, we're 3D printing Star Wars things! You ready? Go! Alright, first things first, I can't 3D print Star Wars in a geek shirt like this. I need a proper geek shirt. I'll be right back. Alright. This is more like it. Hey guys, so uh, I got a really big 3D printing project and I'm going to show it to you in just a little bit. It was, it was a 44 hour print on my GMAX 1.5 XT printer and, and I haven't even removed it from the build plate yet. That's the exciting part. I'm going to remove it from the build plate here on video for the first time and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. So let's do this. It's true, I am a Star Wars nerd, and I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. Here, look, look, this is Han Solo's blaster from Return of the Jedi. This is, this is an, an official toy. I still have it as a kid, from a kid. I've got, I've got Millennium Falcons. I've got, I've got tiny Millennium Falcons, and I, I've just 3D printed mid-sized Millennium Falcons, and I've got giant Millennium Falcons. I've got, Ad ads that are tiny, and I've got a big ad ad. I've got the Yoda bowl that I've 3D printed and given away. There's the Swiss cheese Yoda. I've got an R2D2 Stein to hold my beer mug in. I, I even have the 1992 Data East Star Wars pinball machine. With all that in mind, I think it's safe to say I am definitely a Star Wars nerd. Uh, recently in the 3D printing group I'm a member of on Facebook, I printed off a Millennium Falcon. In fact, it was, it was this Millennium Falcon. So I printed this off and, and I posted it to the group. I posted the picture and so far it's fantastically active and a bunch of people are printing their own Millennium Falcons and, and showing them off and it's just, it's just a lot of fun. I've just adjusted the exposure a little bit so you could see the the white filament that I used to print this, this Millennium Falcon. Look at that. Oh man, I posted this to the Facebook group and now we've got, it's got hundreds of comments and people, people printing this, this Millennium Falcon. It's even got landing gear. Ooh, landing gear. I do have some exotic filaments from Proto Pasta and one of them is their carbon fiber. So this, this right here is a carbon fiber Millennium Falcon printed in Proto Pasta carbon fiber. I printed this on my FlashForge Creator Pro and it has a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, which meant the details are astonishing. Look at that. Oh man, this is, and it's weighted, it's weighted well. And if you look, so if you compare, this one has the dish. This one has the little rectangle that you see in a certain trailer for a certain Star Wars movie coming out soon. Carbon fiber. After printing the Millennium Falcon, I realized there was something I, I really, really wanted to print. And it was, it was an Imperial shuttle. Because I remember as a, as a kid, uh, there, was, there was an Imperial shuttle toy. And, and I always wanted that toy. And I never got that toy. So I thought, well, I have a 3D printer now. I have a really big 3D printer. So I could print this thing, right? Here it is. Look at this. <gasps> and the wings fold out. Look at that. Shh. Look at the detail there. Detail's great. Wings fold up. It's even got detail on the bottom. Oh, this the the detail on this model is fantastic. So it prints it prints with the wings folded like this, and it prints on the print bed like that. And that's why on the bottom you can see it wasn't um, it's not perfectly flat because I printed it on a raft. I just wanted it to adhere. Look at that. Oh, I am so happy with the way this turned out. So happy with the way this turned out. In fact, I wanted to print it even bigger. So I, I used Simplify 3D and I scaled the model up and I sliced it, told me it was gonna take a long time. So I put it in the printer and I hit print and sure enough, 44 hours and some minutes later, I got this. Holy cow, look at the size of this thing. So here, okay, this sits in my hand and it's the size of my hand and my hand is hand sized. And if I put it next to this, it's, oh, it's incredible. It's huge. 
I'm gonna take it off the build plate right now. I use a chisel to, to get underneath the, the raft just a little bit and oh, I can hear it making the noise. Ooh. This was, this was 44 hours, 44 hours of printing. So I don't, I don't, oh, I hope it, I hope it works. All right, get under the, get under the raft a bit. Okay, one wing is loose. I'm geeking out a little bit. Okay, this wing is loose, last bit. <laughs> oh man, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Okay, okay. Be cool, be cool, Joel. Be cool. So now this was printed with support right here. I just have to take this off of the back. I'm going to do it carefully. I'm kind of excited right now. <laughs> okay, anything left over I can clean up. Oh, let's get the raft off. Good wing. Okay, I'm pulling, I'm pulling the, the raft off the, the wing and the bottom parts. So, okay. Man, it's gonna be, okay. A little bit of the bottom part came off. That's okay. I can fix that. Okay. Get my paint scraper here. This isn't the easiest thing to remove right now. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I don't want to break it. Okay, I'm gonna have to, okay. I'm gonna remove this off of the video just because it seems to be taking a while. Or, oh wait. The wings work. <laughs> I might have to use my chisel. <laughs> so it looks like some of the bottom layers are coming apart just a little bit. But I think I can glue that back together. No problem. Here, look. You see right, right there? Yeah. That's why I'm trying to be careful. Well, that sucked. However, look at the size of this. And the wings fold down. And now I have this, look at that, it doesn't even fit the camera. It's so huge, it's so huge. This is so awesome. Look at this. Oh. Oh, and the wings fold back up, right? Yeah. All right, so like any bit of print, I did have to save it a little bit. So if you look on the back, you can tell that, um, let me open the wings. You can tell that it's a little rough rough right here and that's because I was using supports to hold this in place. The, um, the only other issue really is this back plate. Um, Hello. Mm, broken I am. Mm. Yeah this back plate uh, it, it, it kind of it popped off. I can, I can fix this. I can glue it back. Um, I can glue that piece. There's a there's a there's a little piece on top of the the end there so you can kind of see yeah
totally okay with this because uh, this is this is 99% okay, at least. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy with this. Look at look how big this is. This is huge. This is huge. This is this is an Imperial shuttle. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Look at this. <laughs> Yes. Oh, so cool. So cool. Well, that was fun. Oh man, I got myself an Imperial shuttle. I'm pretty excited. Um, I think there. Uh, I think there should be a giveaway too. I think I should do a contest because because I did show off this Millennium Falcon, uh, but I didn't show off this other one that I printed. Right? I only need one. Mm -hmm. I'll keep this one. All right, I'm keeping that one. I'm gonna give this one away. And as suggested by a YouTube comment, this, this Yoda, this Swiss cheese Yoda. Yeah, this is my package here. This is my giveaway. Look at that. I'm doing a Star Wars giveaway. So you get a Millennium Falcon and you get a Yoda. I'm going to run the contest through Gleam and all the details are going to be down in the description. Awesome. Thank you for coming along with me on this little printing adventure. Um, this took 44 hours and change to print, and I think it was it was totally worth it. The the size of this thing is just amazing, and uh, I always I always wanted one of these since I was a kid. I wanted that toy because that toy was cool, and I never got that toy. So now that I'm older and wiser, wiser, I can print my toys. So I did. I printed it. Hey, you know, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up. You know, you know, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video if you if you thought it was fun. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And as always, high five.